Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. This video is sponsored by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're interested in a career in the ever-growing firearms industry, arm yourself with an education. Sonoran Desert Institute offers online learning like armor courses all the way up to an associate degree. Visit sdi.edu or call 480-999. 4767 to learn more. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time for another Handgun Showdown, where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer produces the better handguns. We have a good one today. It's Walther versus Beretta, and I look forward to getting the responses back as to which one the viewers feel is a better manufacturer. But before we get into that, let's report the results for the last Handgun Showdown, where we matched up Glock versus Glock clones and there were strong feelings on both sides but at the end of the day people went with the original Glock they just trust it more they say hey you know what it's proven and it has done so well over time give me my Glock they appreciate the additional accessories and slide cuts and everything else that the Glock clones offer but at the end Glock took it Walther versus Beretta Let's get into it. Let's start with Walther, and we'll begin right here with the Walther PDP, Performance Duty Pistol. Nobody thought they would ever outdo the famous PPQ, but they did with the PDP. Same 15 round mags and a trigger that is Performance Duty. I'm measuring right at 4 pounds, opposed to the 5.6 pounds on the PPQ. So it's a little bit of a lighter trigger, super terrain serrations both front and rear it is optic ready three dot sights and that grip is amazing more texturing throughout all throughout the grip they call it a performance duty grip also has that cross directional texturing that is so comfortable but it feels great with the optic ready option this pistol is a big hit and i love it i also love the walther q5 match now this is the polymer frame model it has the same ppq grip right there all right, with the cross-directional text drink, same 15-round mag, 5.5-pound trigger pull, branded blue with the Q5 match. Very nice and comfortable trigger pull. Short reset for the follow-up shots. Also, optic-ready, adjustable rear sights, fiber-optic front sight, lightning cuts in the slide, 5-inch barrel, full pick rail, extremely accurate, built for competition, an amazing full-size handgun that I really enjoy never quite got my hand on the q5 steel frame but i love that and over here we've got the ppq subcompact same thing as the ppq just a smaller version offers two finger grip right here they made it short intentionally 10 round mags same trigger pull that we are used to with the ppq very similar to the q5 match 3.5 inch barrel little pick rail there front serrations three dot sights but you're getting all the stuff that you love with the ppq in a subcompact form i have a special admiration for all three of these pistols as for beretta i have to start with the 92x performance i'm calling this my favorite handgun it is big it's heavy and it is a nice shooting handgun extremely accurate 15 round mags vertex style grip more vertical all steel frame sawtooth serrations both front and rear that's what brett is calling it frame mounted thumb safety brigadier slide adjustable rear sights fiber optic front sight 4.9 inch barrel and an incredible trigger pull very accurate soft shooting single action but the double action is so smooth too i just love everything about this gun it is such an accurate and smooth shooter it feels great natural pointing handgun that i just love it makes the nine millimeter feel like a 22. now over here we've got a px4 storm i picked this up used for about three and a quarter it does have 17 round mags rotating barrel which is what the px4 storms offer but this one is double action only heavy eight and a half pound trigger pull in double action it's discontinued but it does have front serrations now the px4 storm models are very popular most common you will see the double action single action this is double action only but you know i took it to the range and performed real well very happy with it you know it, it hit my target i hit my target with it and you know the rotating barrel 
makes it for a softer shooting pistol. Here we have the Striker Fired Beretta APX. They now have a full line of APX models. This is a larger one with a four and a quarter inch barrel. It is a modular gun and it's known for its slide serrations that go all the way throughout. It looks different, it's kind of cool, but it's also very functional. You know, you can charge it from anywhere on the slide. It does have an ambidextrous slide stop, and the grip feels really nice. It is an ergonomically pleasing gun. Feels great in the hand, and the trigger measures right at 6 pounds. Short reset, and there is not a great transition from the case to the range. When I took this to the range, it just pointed and shot normal. And being a larger size gun, it's quite accurate. Now, they also make this with smaller barrel length, also 9 and 40. But the Breda APX models have become quite popular. So, which of these five manufacturers do you feel produces the better handguns? Is it Walther or is it Beretta? Let me know in the comments. I will total them up and report the results back with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.